Last year, I got bored and made this list. And today, I want to monetize that boredom. Uh, if you go right here, my categories are peak Pokemon, I feel nothing, and does not deserve rights. Let's just talk about Bulbasaur. I never really felt a lot towards him, but then I did a Nuzlocke. I think Bulbasaur is our first friend. Ivysaur is something I like to call the smash effect, right? A character gets added to a different game and you either like them way more or way less. And I like Ivysaur way less. <laughs> Ivysaur is all right. I suppose. And I think Venusaur is awesome. He's a cool guy. How do we feel about Charmander? He's just a guy. Like, he's a perfect first starter. I think I like Bulbasaur better. Um, I think I like Charmeleon. Charmander, I think Charmander's pretty raw. You know, if the fire on his tail goes out, he dies. And that's sick. I'll be honest, I actually don't like Charmeleon. They love Charizard. He's in Pokin. He's in Unite. He's in Smash Bros. He's in everything. Not only do the people like Charizard, Game Freak loves Charizard. You would probably be like, he's overrated. He's obnoxious. He's in everything. I hate this bastard. And I feel that. But he's popular because he's pretty cool. Probably like right here. When you factor in Charizard X. Squirtle. Just a little guy. I think like of all the starters, Squirtle might be my favorite. I can't really pinpoint why. Blastoise is probably like my least favorite. I think I like him more than War Turtle. Let's just agree. Kanto starters, pretty decent. A lot of the bug Pokemon are going to be ranked pretty low. That's just how it'd be. If you disagree, make your own list. I like Hatterfee though. He is such a friend. Metapod's funny. Butterfree, I just don't really care. I like Weedle, but he doesn't have the friend element that Caterpie has. You know, I'm moving Caterpie to awesome. Just, uh, I'm going to keep him in awesome for now. Kakuna, same thing. Funny. There was a Metapod trainer. wasn't a Kakuna trainer. I actually feel nothing. But Beedrill, high up there. This is going to take a while, isn't it? I like Pidgeot because it's a cooler bird. I only get Pidgey to get to Pidgeot. You know, I have no affinity for Pidgey. I like Fear Strat Rattata. I think he's all right. He's all right. You know, I, I, I feel something for him. Uh, I don't really feel anything towards Eradicate, but I will rank these tiers, and I think I feel like the most nothing. Sparrow, I like him more than Pidgey. Thera's cool. It feels like budget Pidgeot, but I do like him more than Pidgeotto. I think there's this problem, right, in Gen 1 and 2, where a lot of the character designs aren't anything crazy. You just kind of point and be like, that's a snake. It's like a nothing for me, but Arbok, it looks like a cobra, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> this tier list is not gonna be consistent. I feel nothing for, I feel the most nothing, but I feel nothing for Pikachu. It's a good character design. I recognize that it served the test of time, but one, I miss fat Pikachu. Two, cause you know, everyone thinks Charizard's overrated. <clears throat> I think he's cool. I just can't feel anything for him. Raichu is superior, but Alolan Raichu is, is like, is like peak Pokemon. I love Alolan Raichu. He's a little surfer guy. Look at his day. He's on his tail. It's awesome. So both forms are friends. <laughs> he is a friend <laughs> right there. Sand, uh, Sand Slash. He's just cool. You know, like he's meant to be cool. Nidoran. Small guy. Small girl. Excuse me. I feel nothing for most of these. I think I like the mid evolution the most. Is that weird? And then I like Nido King more than Nido Queen as well. Another one of those Pokemon where competitive changed my perspective on them a lot because I use Clefairy on almost all of my teams. Obnoxious. And that's what I aim for when I play Pokemon. And Clefable, I don't care about. But Alolan, Ninetales, Alolan, Vulpix, I feel... I feel less for, oh, it could be peak, it could be peak Pokemon. Jigglypuff. I remember earlier when I mentioned the Smash effect. Personally, I constantly forget Jigglypuff is even a Pokemon because of Smash Bros. I recently beat Explorers of Sky, and I gotta say, Wigglytuff pretty based. I like Zubat. When you actually dissect what is Zubat, he's just a little guy. Low awesome. I don't know what it is about Golbat. Maybe that's the gaping mouth. It just doesn't do it for me. I feel nothing when I look at Golbat. <laughs> Oddish. I don't even think I have to explain it. That's a friend if I I've ever seen one. And then Gloom. I know it's not a cum stained Pokemon, but why does it look like it? You know? I want to say Gloom's not awesome, but Vile Plume. There's such a legacy with this Pokemon on our channel, and you think I would like it more, but I will put it in friends. Let's look at Paris. Did anyone else finish Legends Arceus recently? Normally I feel nothing towards Paris, but Legends Arceus is the only thing that's ever made me feel something towards him, which is negative. Hatred, fire, anger. So, uh, not awesome. I'm gonna say he's bad, because I feel like there are some Parasect defenders in the world, and they need something to get angry 
three at today because they have nothing else going for them. Venomat. I don't think about him much. I don't think about him much, but he's like a he's shaped like a friend. This is Venomoth. Yeah, I'll place him there. We got Diglett. Uh, he's not up there, up there, but I think he's up here. Doug Trio. I've never really been a huge fan of the triple Pokemon. I just think the hair is funny, like there. Meow. If I had to rank all of them, uh, I actually don't like any of them. <laughs> I am gonna say for Meow Persian, it's just a cat. Like Meow is a cat, but he has a funny voice. Psyduck just sits here with his hands on his face, just bitch slaps people for fun. It's charming. Golduck is one of those Pokemon where I've never used it on a team, but I definitely do like Golduck more than Venusaur. Mankey, gotta put him in I Feel Nothing, but I do like Primate. Growlithe, yeah, he's up there. Arcanine has been one of those backup moms and all, all of, or backup mons and all of my like competitive teams. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath. Uh, I just look at him and go, aw, I'd step on it. You know, does that make sense? Is that normal? Uh, I Feel Nothing. Poliwrath though, I think is pretty based. Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. I think it's just one of those evil lines where you're just trying to get to the final evolution. I don't really feel anything about Abra. I, I think it's like decent. Alakazam is, I'm gonna put him in awesome. Machop, Machoke, I feel nothing towards. I do think Machop's a little guy, so maybe I feel a little towards him, but Machamp, I like him in Pokemon Unite, and I think that bumped him up on my list because you just see him, Alex Jones, sprinting at you, and you just have to think quick before he submissions you, and I think that's hilarious. Um, Bellsprout. Is it repetitive if I say he's awesome? Because he's just doing a funky little dance. Weeping Bell, nothing. Victory Bell, I've used on a lot of teams. I like it more than Cater. I think Caterpie's just misplaced, sorry. Tentacruel, Tentacruel, I feel nothing towards him. I think Tentacruel's kind of funny because he canonically caused 9-11. And they had to pull that clip out of the intro because it was 9-11, yeah, it happened. Oh my God, I forgot about these. Geodude, like I can get behind. I like what he stands for. Graveler, he just rolls around. Golem, let me think about it. Not very high on my list at all. Pony, Rapidash, one of the most beautiful shinies. Mm, super high. Uh, I would probably place like above Arcanine, mm, the champ. Why are there so many Slowbro forms? How did that happen? Him having the Mega Buster is pretty funny. His Mega Form is also funny. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna rank him like right here. Slowpoke, uh, I feel something, you know? Magnemite, Magneton. I know this is Gen 1, but it always felt a little lazy. But Magnemite himself, I think he's fun. Farfetch, because I thought he was a super rare Pokemon as a kid. So when I caught one, I popped off. His stock only went down in my eyes. Right there. Doduo, Dodrio. I think they're pretty slept on. I know I just complained about like Magneton, Dugtrio. This is just the same thing but with another head, but they have a tail now. So did you consider that? I think Seal Cut's a close. Higher than Blastoise for sure. And then Dugong? What a beautiful creature. I'm a fan of them right here. <laughs> that was a lot of gas just to place them in all right, I suppose. The Larian or Alolan form of Muck is atrocious to me. Oh, this is a Alolan form for sure, yeah. I'm even gonna go so far to say Alolan Muck does not deserve rights. Shelter Cloister? Like, they just look like mainly Cloister. He just seems straight up. I think I will submit myself as kind of straight and slap him at the bottom of awesome. I'm just gonna rate Gengar real quick, but I, I like Gengar a lot. I like Haunter even more. And I I think Astley's a hit. Onyx? I feel nothing. <laughs> but I do think it's pretty funny because of the clip in my Nuzlocke with Captain Kid. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that's why I was gonna say give the Quick Claw to Mewtwo is because uh, if you could proc Quick Claw and then have the flinch. What did I say, Brayden? What did I say? Uh, uh, okay, so couple things. Drowsy. Uh, I would even. I don't. I don't like him. He's not awesome. I don't think Hypno deserves rights. Krabby and Kingler just looking too much alike. A really, I mean, <laughs> that's right next to Voltorb and Electrode. I really feel anything towards any of these? Actually, I'm gonna do something real quick. <laughs> It's just Pikachu tier. Lightning round. Uh, execute. I feel nothing towards. Executor. Funny guy. Cubone. Everyone wants to give him sympathy points because his mom died. Wah, it happens to all of us. All your moms are gonna die eventually. But I think Marowak is pretty cool because of Alolan Marowak. This dude's badass. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, feel nothing towards. I would go so far to call Lickitung grotesque. I would just say that he's not awesome. Yeah, definitely never felt anything towards coughing. Weezing, I definitely like the Galarian Weezing more. That's a funny guy. Above Blastoise, that's for sure. Rhyhorn is definitely like an I feel nothing. Rhydon is like above Blastoise. I would have put Chansey pretty low, but recently I watched Pokemon Generations in its entirety. Chansey is like all that's good in the world. Competitively, hate the fucker, but pretty awesome. Tangela, 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 this one. I think we got a new friends competitor. Kangaskhan, uh, I think having kids is cringe, not awesome. Just a seahorse. I don't really like this line until King Dread. I think I feel nothing towards Goldeen. Seeking? I think I forgot about this Pokemon. I think I forgot Goldeen evolves. I like Staryu, but for some reason, Starmie is such a better design. Mr. Mime, uh, they both kind of feel like perverts to me. I don't think there's anything like 
alarming about Mr. Mime. I just don't trust him. So it feels a little inappropriate to call him a funny guy after that. Mr. Mime can go there. Scyther's a cool guy. Wow, I'm really placing Scyther high. I would even go so far as to say Jinx is bad. Electrobuzz? I, I feel like I should think he's cooler. So I'm gonna place it here. I think I like Blastoise more than Magmar. Again, one of those, I should feel something. Here, straight up just a bull. That's a funny guy. He's just a fish. I just feel like it's pokey baiting, right? Gyarados is just cool. I feel like most people would rank Gyarados pretty high. I'm gonna place him there above Scyther. Just a beautiful Pokemon. I think Lapras is like right around there. What a hard character to rank. I think Ditto's pretty high. I think he's awesome and the top of awesome. Chat, I hope no one disagrees with me on this. I'm putting Eevee in the Pikachu tier. Vaporeon, right? I like Vaporeon a lot. And that is the burden I bear. Vaporeon used to be my favorite Pokemon, but then I think the internet happened. And now I'm scared to ever mention I like Pokemon because of, well, let's just see what the chat has to say. So, Vaporeon has moved down on my list, but Vaporeon is probably my favorite Pokemon that we've ranked so far. Jolteon, I would even go so far as say a friend. And then Flareon, you might've been aware of the first iteration of the phenomenon known as Twitch Plays Pokemon. My opinion on Flareon resembles that. I like the evolutions of Porygon more, but I think I would still rank them um, above. Graveler, Amamite, Om Omnimite. There's like a lot of love for them because of like Praise Helix. Uh, I think I think I think they're okay. You know, at this point, you kind of recognize I do like the little guys. But Kabutops, I love edgy hack and slashers too, like Scyther, Aerodactyl. I think I'm gonna place him right above Starmie. He is definitely a Pikachu, but he's like a pseudo Pikachu. We have pseudo legendaries. He's a pseudo Pikachu. So now we get to the three birds. Their Galarian forms are gorgeous. All three of these bird designs are bangers and. All three of the Galarian forms are like turbo bangers, but I, I am an edgy bitch at the heart. Galarian Zapdos is honest. Honestly, all three of these designs are insane. Articuno is probably like right there. Dratini, this is one of those I feel nothing mons when it's just like, it only exists to get to the next step, which for me, Dragonair, for whatever reason, is like peak Pokemon. Like, it's just gorgeous, which is so weird because it's just like a small little snake. To be quite honest with you, I've never really cared about Dragonite, but Pokemon Unite made me brain dead. You know, I, that's what I live for. Dragonite moved up. Mewtwo is like peak Pokemon, objectively speaking, but the smash effect doesn't really exist for Mewtwo because like he's like, a, he really is a Pikachu. I like Mew way more than Mewtwo. Mew's like a tiny little funny cat. He's there to cause problems on purpose. Not a crazy Chikorita fan, I have to be honest. I like Bayleaf. Bayleaf is my favorite in the line. Is Meganium not awesome? I think I'd rather eat Meganium than like be friends with it, you know? I think Cyndaquil's better than Bayleaf. And then I think Quillava, it's hard to have a good mid evolution, you know? But Quillava is exactly that. Factoring in the Hisuian form, Typhlosion is maybe even a friend. I think he's the best first Evo in Johto. I like him more than Charmander, but I hate Croconaw. Something about the design. Yeah. Alligator though, probably the best Johto final evolution, not factoring in Hisuian Typhlosion. I'm gonna place him right there. He's Rattata, he's Zigzagoon. Furret though, way up here. It's because of Furret Walk, but also Pokemon Stadium. I feel nothing, also nothing. Ladybug. I do think Ladian is a pretty cool design because Ladybug just feels like a ladybug, but Ladian is kind of like a more Pokemonified Ladybug. I had a fear of spiders growing up and I think Spinarak helped me get over it right there. People like Ariados, I should like Ariados, but they're not as high as Spinarak. Crobat is like meant to be cool. It is the cool version of Golbat. I'm gonna put Crobat in Friends, which is also Friends, AKA based. I don't remember what this one's name is, but I like it. Then Lantern is just not as cute as Chinchou. It's just Electric Dugong. Actually, not at all. Pichu completely smash. Smash effect for me. When Pichu was announced for Smash Ultimate, I was like, I'm gonna main that character no matter what. And then they were broken. Pichu is like up here for me. I'm sorry. Charizard X is like peak Pokemon too. Haunter 2. Baby Pokemon as a whole just straight up don't do anything for me. Togepi's all right. I think it's like anime, you know, like Togepi's treated as like a Pikachu. And then Togetic, it feels so naked. Yeah. Natu, Zatu, they're fine. It's just a sheep. I get that, but it's a cute sheep. I think one of the few evolutionary lines that just kept going up there. Amphrodos, they're friends. Like at one point in my life, the top 10 Pokemon. I like Blossom. They're just pretty. They're awesome. I like Meryl. As a kid, I love Meryl. Very puntable, but in a friendly way. Right under Dragonite. Azumarill never did did anything for me. Pseudo Wudo is funny, but he's not like a funny guy. He had one good joke, pretty low on my list. I like how Poliwhirl evolves in him more than Bayleaf. Hopip is the only one I like in here, like right there. Not a huge monkey 
fan. I like Donkey <laughs> Kong, but that information's kind of irrelevant right now. If anything, I feel anger, which I think is not awesome. I don't want it to live such a mid Pokemon. I like Yanma. I think Quagsire is great. A lot of people want to focus on the Wooper, but Quagsire up there. And then Wooper, yeah, he's also up here. <laughs> Espeon and Umbreon, incredible Pokemon. But I love Murkrow. <laughs> just an energy that they hold. He's not as funny as Slowbro. Like, I just want to push him over and steal his life alert. I do like Mistrevis. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea how to rank a known. That's like ranking English. How do I feel about the letter seven? Terrifying. He is a Nuzlocke <laughs> Ender. So I don't feel nothing towards him. I feel fear. 100%, I feel nothing. I also feel nothing. Dunsparce, definitely a meme Pokemon, but he's fun. Gligar, like, I don't even have to think about it there. He was the Steel type. I respect that, which is awesome. I really don't like Snubble. And then Granbull is like decent. A definitive nothing. And then Scizor is badass. Scyther was already badass. And then they perfected the line. No need for a third. Boom. Cleaver. Fuck. We'll get to that later. I think I want to say peak Pokemon. Funny guy. I could never get behind it. Back in high school, I saw a lot of don't fuckle with Shuckle. And I go, ha ha, I get it. But do I really? I'm going to place him right there. Heracross, though. Peak Pokemon. I like Sneeze a lot. Here. My mom's favorite Pokemon. So I think I have a soft spot for them because of that. But I think he's just too real. Him and Ursaring are just bears and cubs. But for some some reason I can't remember the names of the next two po Okay, Slugma. Fuck. I feel nothing for him. Quad weak to water, which sucks. I don't like shitty Pokemon. Never. He's kind of fire them. Swine up. Swine up. Swine up. Mammoth. Not mammoth swine. I don't know why I don't care for him. I just don't. With pillow swine, I just don't get it. I think this Pokemon sit absolutely nothing towards just a fish and octopus. You know what? It's such a lazy design. I'm even going to call it not awesome. It's just a fish, which I know you could probably say that about some Pokemon I like, but I'm a hypocrite and I will do it again. You know, you ever have people associated with Pokemon? Because I can never see this and not think about little Z. Does not deserve right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right there. I feel nothing towards them. Skarmory though, definitely intended to be cool and they stuck the landing. Cool fire dog, but Han Houndoom is badass. I'm thinking about it. Oh, it's high. Token Pikachu honestly isn't Pikachu tier either. I think it's funny you just keep it Eevee and Pikachu. Kingdra. It just looks like the state of Florida to me. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't like Don Fan, but Fampy, that's a friend. Actually, no. I think he is shaped like a friend, but I have to draw my line somewhere. Awesome. Smooth brain. Porygon. I think they're too similar. Not awesome. Just a deer. Smeargle is like shitty Mew. I love that. Funny. I actively dislike Tyrogue. I don't feel like we needed him. Hitmontop! Based. Peak Pokemon. I've always liked Hitmontop, but then when you introduce Dr. Bustdown in the picture, Smoochum doesn't deserve rights. Not a huge fan of baby Pokemon, but some get passes, and I think Alakid is one of those. I feel like him and Cyndaquil would just be friends. Magby, though, not awesome. Just a cow. Actually, I'm gonna move Miltank to not awesome because I've seen the clip of me out sucking the, the teats of Miltank. I see Blissey and I groan because I just think about what I've dealt with. So I'm gonna say Blissey is not awesome. Less awesome than teat sucking. Let's talk about the legendary dogs, or the beasts, I think. Suicune is by far the best one. I'm gonna play Suicune up there. It's a great design. Raikou, yeah. Suicune got Crystal. Entei had a movie. Raikou kind of just got the shit end of the stick. I like him though. I'm gonna place him there in the middle of awesome. But then Entei, I think he's the least cool one. Top of pretty good. I'm just gonna place Tyrannus real quick. I think Pupitar to Tyrantar is one of the biggest glow ups. This is a friend. He's a scary friend, but he's a friend. Pupitar sucks, but I think they're like kind of supposed to, right? They're just a cocoon Pokemon. But Larvitar, I also really don't feel a lot, Sue. I like Lugia. I don't love Lugia, but Ho-Oh is just a gorgeous Pokemon. And as a One Piece fan, I love foreshadowing. Seeing Ho-Oh in the first episode and then not introduced for like another generation, I really like how upfront they were with Ho-Oh. Up here, Celebi on the cusp of being base. Now we are in Gen 3. By far my favorite gen. We know Mudkip is one of my favorite Pokemon. Maybe above Charizard. Probably the weakest first Evo. They're still awesome. The dick Pokemon. Combuskin is the biggest miss in the Gen 3 starter line. Trico is a friend. Maybe awesome. Ah, uh, I don't want just want to put all the starters in the friend tier. I have to like analyze it as not a starter. I just finished playing Mystery Dungeon 2. You know what this means. I'm just gonna move Gligar down so I can put him right next to Celebi. Badass. I'm gonna put them in friends here. I like Sceptile a lot. Blaziken's so cool. And I don't know why Blaziken doesn't get more love. Everyone likes Blaziken. No one dislikes Blaziken. Some mothers do because of his little cack. I think Blaziken's higher than Vaporeon, actually. Blaziken, you can enjoy the number one spot for now. Marshtomp, he looks deranged, and I like that. He just looks like he shit his pants and didn't realize. Gate kept by Slowbro. I think Swampert is a very special Pokemon for 
me. This Swampert was my best friend as a kid, like right above Heatar. And I know I said I wasn't skipping ahead. I'm gonna skip ahead. My favorite Pokemon of all time, Absol. I've always loved black and white color palettes, monochrome and everything. And Absol is just perfectly that. I know you could probably say it's just a weird looking cat. But isn't that awesome? Poochiena, I don't really feel a lot towards, but I will say Mightyena is pretty sick. Probably like pretty high up here. Zigzagoon's a friend. I think just because I grew up with Gen 3 a lot, I just grew such an attachment to that little guy in the first route. Lanoon, I definitely learned to appreciate later in life. I didn't even realize these were HM slaves when I was growing up. I think I'm finally separating the Nidoran. They're just cocoons. Let's talk about Wurmple. I like him. Beautifly. I don't really care for bug Pokemon, but I think Dustox is pretty badass. If I could pick one Pokemon to have as a pet, I think Lotad's probably up there. He just wants to hang out and I could like drink out of him, you know, which is what I look for in a pet. This is a peak Pokemon if I've ever seen it. Definitely in the I don't care tier list, whereas Ludicolo is base. He's not breaking into peak Pokemon that's reserved for Lotad. Mid. Nuzleaf. He's okay. I do think Nuzleaf is cooler. Not by too much. I think I like Taylor for the same reason I like uh, Rattata. He does the exact same thing, but a little better, but I feel nothing for Swallow. It's just a seagull, but I think I'm Gen 3 biased and I'm gonna put him all the way up here. And then Pelipper, not awesome. I don't know why he's so much lower than Wingle, but that is the reality of the world we live in and you just have to deal with that. He's a worthless Pokemon and I wanna hold him. I think he's awesome. Curlia is also pretty cool. It being like a little ballerina psychic Pokemon. Yeah, that's actually badass. But Gardevoir, I'm gonna rank so high up. I thought it was just such a stunning looking Pokemon growing up and I was shocked when people were attracted to this Pokemon. I'm just gonna rank Masquerade real quick because I feel nothing, but Surskit. Surskit is incredible. Breloom, I think is pretty decent. Yeah, place him right here. But with Shroomish, me and my friends in high school, we all had like a week to make a team and battle each other and everything like that. But my friend Luke, he had a Marsh Stomp and five Shroomishes. And that has forever been hilarious to me. And because of that, much higher on my list. Slack off, Slacking, Slack, I don't care for him. I think it's just like the gluttonous type of Pokemon. Slacking feels so much more like Lint and Belly Button kind of energy, like real Wario levels of disgusting. Place him like right there. He's my favorite of the three, which isn't like saying a lot, but I would place him like pretty high. Nothing more of a gateway to one, get Ninjas, pretty cool. But then you get Shedinja. Shedinja is just a gimmick Pokemon. That's all they are. And I think that's so cool. You know, I'm bumping them up to friends. Wismer looks terrified and I don't really feel anything. Exploud, I think he's like cutting it. Loudred right here. I'm not in love with the line. I don't know. I just think he's a cute guy. He's just like doughy. You know, and I think for Hariyama, I actually just don't feel anything for him. I know I don't like baby Pokemon, and I've said that. Azuril is an exception. Why? I think I liked Azuril a lot as a kid. Sometimes you have those, you know? Nosepass. I like in Legends Arceus that he always points north. He's weird, and I like it. Once it was pointed out to me that, like, this little thing above Delcaddy's neck is, like, one of those airport pillows you get, and I just can't unsee it. I think Skitty's cute, like, there. I do like Delcaddy more, though. I think everyone kind of likes Sableye. I think he's even peak Pokemon. I think Mawile is a Pokemon that I want to like so bad, but I just don't get it. But I do like what I don't get. Actually, I'm going to use this for Mawile instead because I get that a little bit more there. Uh, Larian feels awkward, not awesome. Pretty badass. Unfortunate typing because he just dies to everything right above Zigzagoon. I like him a lot. I would put him above Squirtle. I don't think I feel anything, actually. Electric, Minectric. I like a lot. Who's the better Mon? Plus or Minin? I'm going to do something crazy. This is the Gatekeeper. Minin is a whole tier better. Pikachu tier is not reserved for the Pikachu clone. It's for the mascot. Lucario is in Pikachu tier. You know what? Let's just go find Lucario right now. He is second in line to Pikachu. Volby, don't care. Illumis, don't care. I didn't really like Roselia. And then I learned that they were like an inch tall. Like right there. Chat, it seems that I have forgotten the name of these two. Funny, but uh, I don't care for him. I never have. I care for Swalot less though. It's all right. Sharpedo is really cool. I think it's safe to say I don't care about Whalmer, but Whalord, the definition of comedy, because this dude is massive. Real has to recognize real here. I want to push him down a flight of stairs. Does not deserve rights. This is a friend. I like Spoink a lot. Yeah, again, don't really care. I like him. Spend is great. Almost my favorite normal type. I thought he was for a while, but we'll get to them. Let's move Flygon all the way up the tippy tippy top. A friend more than Gligar. But Brava is the Pupitar, but it looks better. Pretty high on awesome. I never really liked Cacnea growing up, but what changed my mind on that was the new Pokemon Snap because Cacnea like Naruto runs and then just rolls down hills. I don't know. 
know. I'm gonna put him in friends tier. He looks so sick, and I don't know why we never got more of him. Swablu, I don't feel nothing towards it. I think it's cute, but Altaria, I'm gonna put Altaria in peak Pokemon. I think they're really cool. I just don't know why. A super forgettable Pokemon. Nothing crazy. So Viper is also just like a snake, but I think it's just pretty. Gen 3 had a lot of bangers. Lunatone and Solrock. That's like the opposite of a banger. Barboach, Wishcash, Fish. But Wishcash, eh, put him here. I've never seen enough of Corfish Crawdont. They're fun guys, though. I don't like I feel anything towards Baltoy. I think I like him, but not a lot. Claydol, I do like. He's a weird looking design. Perlia, I don't feel anything. I'm gonna say Cradley's out of this tier. I wanted to call this Pokemon Amaranth, but that's not correct. I don't think I care for him. Design's too busy for me. Pretty low, actually. Stepping Stone Pokemon, but Melodic. It's the essence of beauty. If I made this tier list three years ago, Melodic is like up here. But after playing a little bit of competitive Pokemon for the past couple of years, yeah, that's fair. I think the gimmick of Cast Form is cool. I just wish it was on a better Pokemon. Cast Form himself looks like a naked little baby with testicle necks. I don't know. His form hard carry him. I like the design a lot. Mystery Dungeon bumps him up a fair amount. Wow, I really like Heckleon, don't I? Shuppet's just like a little shadow puppet, you know? Like, that's it. That's the name. But I like Shuppet a lot. Then Bannet, really cool. I don't think it's as high as Shuppet for me, but it's definitely like up there. Duskull and Dusclops have a soft spot in my heart. Duskull was my very first shiny. I'm gonna put Duskull there. I also shiny Dusclops. Wow, I didn't think I liked Dusclops that much, but he might be up there. You know, I'm bringing Houndoom up. Tropius is... He's weird and I like him for that. I don't think I feel a lot towards him, but I think I feel something. Why not is baby. No runs, okay. There. He's weak. He's like Dugong. Better Dugongs. Feel. To the moon. Feel has to be the friend gatekeeper. Thematically, that makes sense. Big boy. Kind of like an Agron tier. Plant Pearl. Dad. Nothing. Huntail. Weird. Weird is good. The bottom of awesome. I like Huntail more, but it's just a dolphin. Gorbis is an eel. Oh, well. Raylacant. Don't feel anything. It's just heart scale. Not awesome. Bagon. Shellgon. Salamence. What an incredible final evolution. Factoring in the Mega. I love Crescent Moons. I love Gen 3. Salamence is up here. I think Altaria is a little higher. Cocoon next to Pupitar. This is the same fucking Pokemon. Bagon is a stupid little man. He has a mullet, and I don't think he's very awesome. Steven Stone signature Pokemon, and he gives you a little Beldum at the end of the game. You care for that Beldum that only knows takedown. Actually, Shellgon's worse. I thought about it. Not a good Pokemon. I don't think I care. Actually, I do. It could just be Beldum into Matang, and I don't think anyone would like really bat an eye. I'm gonna put him above Teddy Ursa. I'm gonna use Mega Metagross, actually, just because it's cooler. I'm not gonna say peak Pokemon. It's close, but we have to admit, it's Gatecat by Sphiel. Now, the Reggie's. I think Reggie Ice is my favorite. I think here. For Reggie Rock. Yeah, right there. But Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel has a dark history. That was not awesome. Latios, Latios. I think this is the exact same Pokemon. But I do like blue, just the color more. I think we can all agree Mega Rayquaza and then the Primals are just cooler. So let's factor that in. Mega Rayquaza is sick. Peak Pokemon design. This badass dragon ribbon. Those are really cool. Kyogre is beautiful. Kyogre goes up here too. Probably right under Lotad in equal power, some might say. Primal Groudon. Uh, I like Groudon because of my randomized Nuzlocke, but I think as a Mon, he's the lowest of the Weather Trio, but honestly, all bangers. Jirachi's just special to me because I think it's just Gen 3 bias right there. I thought Deox was such a cool Pokemon as a kid because I could only find it through game sharking. Probably was lower on my list until I watched Pokemon Generations. Right there. We are on Gen 4, baby! Grottle, not awesome. I just want to push him over and watch him unable to get back up. But Turtwig, that's a friend. Not friend here, but he's definitely a friend. He has grown on me, especially after the soul link I did with Jaden. So Terra is a friend, isn't he? Not a huge fan of monkeys. I don't like the mid evolutions. Like Print Plup feels so weird, but I think he's better. I think he's better than them. So I'm going to put him there. Infernape is shitty Blaziken. I think I would have liked him more if Blaziken didn't exist. And I like the chicken more than the monkey. Piplup, Piplup, Piplup. I like him, but I think like doing that solo Piplup run definitely bumped him up on my list. I made him a friend. Water Steel's sick. I think I can put him Napoleon right there. Don't care about Staravia. Stepping Stone. Starly. A bird. I like his eyes. I like how his eyes are drawn. They're just like little outlines of circles and I find that charming. So I'm putting him higher than you would expect. Giraptor. He's got the funny little pompadour. I think I have to get kept by Pidgeot. We're at the little boy. The god of Pokemon. Bidoof is so hard to rank because I don't know if I'm ranking the Pokemon itself or the culture that is formed around it. So I'm gonna just do my best and say I like him. There. And Bibarel. I care so little about compared to Bidoof. Another very puntable Pokemon. I guess punting is an emotion, for me at least. Not awesome. I don't think I would like his design, but I like the funny noises he makes. So I'm kind of ranking that sound effect on its own. Probably one of the best designs in this gen. And I'm gonna put it up here. Shanks, friend. Then like Luxio, awkward, puberty phase. Actually, it's not as awkward as I was thinking. It's a pretty decent mon. Bidoo, pretty low. Roserade is sick. Gen 4 did a lot of like post evolutions, you know? And Roserade is definitely one of the cooler ones. He just looks like he 
was dropped on the head. I still like him. I find him endearing. Rampardos. Cool. This guy. I don't really feel anything towards him. Bashiodon. It's just kind of sick. I don't like Burmy. I don't like Wormadam. I wouldn't say they're bad. I don't care. I just see Pachirisu, so I'm just taking him to the moon real quick. One, just a good character design. Two, a world champion. Combi is kind of funny here. I've always thought Vespa Queen was pretty cool. In a recent stream, people were sexualizing her and said Vespa Cussy. So I think that knocks it down on my list a little bit. Blow me out. I don't feel crazy about them. I think it's like they could be in the I feel nothing. It's like I see them and I don't really care, but I see them. And at the same time, I'm like, I like what they stand for. I don't think... I said a sentence. I feel nothing. Daylight, Cherum. It's like too woo-woo cute for me to like really like. Now we're gonna talk about which Shellos is better. I just think it blues better. I like blue a lot, but I think I dislike Ambipom. I've just had bad memories with it. Ambipom is like a destroyer of worlds. Driftloon, Driftloon. I like the little guy more. He's smaller, funnier, compact, steals children here. And then big man himself, less than Ralts. I'm gonna turn chat off for this one. Baneri, the shavable Pokemon. I think this Pokemon looks mad shavable. I would love to reduce it to nothing. It just feels rewarding to do such a thing. Right under Meowth. Lopunny, the Coomer Pokemon. I liked this design. And then the internet got to me. I don't want to fuck the anime rabbit. Instead, I am going to place her in a modest mid-awesome. I think this Pokemon is pretty neat. It's a witch, which is cool. Top of pretty good. Honchkrow doesn't do it for me. I just see it and I'm like, I don't care for it. I just don't like Perugly. I mean, I'm not supposed to like it. Glammeow is fine though. Real run-of-the-mill Pokemon. They're both like little cat friends. The littlest guy friend. Skunk, skunk, donkey, skunky, skunky. I'm just not a fan of gross and skunks are gross. Isn't like his asshole just his face? I don't really like saying those words. Why did it call him like Bringling or something. What, what's his name? I forget. Don't care. Can be punted down here. Happeny, I also kind of dislike, but not as much as the other baby Pokemon. I think it's the fact it's nurturing an egg makes it a little more valuable in society. I like him a little more than Sudowoodo. I didn't know this until recently. They gave people the power to alter Chat Dot's cry to whatever they wanted. So this is one of the few Pokemon who's just said slur. Spiritomb is a really cool Pokemon, but Legends Arceus tormented me. But I'm trying to not let that cloud my judgment because I think Spiritomb is a really sick Pokemon. Awkward puberty Pokemon. Gibble in BDSP, his idle animation has like jazz hands and that like skyrocketed Gibble stock for me. Awesome. I think he's hard carried by Cynthia. I'm putting Garchomp up pretty high. I don't care. I don't think he's awesome. Also a baby Pokemon, but I like him. I like him way more than Lucario. He feels like he has something to prove. You know, he's got spunk. Top of pretty good. Lightning round. Hippopotas. Funny little guy. I don't like him as much. The lower end of pretty good. Love this guy. Friend. I see him and I'm like Toxicrow and the other one. I like the little guy more. Awesome. Carnivine is a weird guy. I think I like him. Legends Arceus actually bumps it down a full tier. He aggros on anything. This is fish. Don't care. Mantig is cute. Sure, it's a baby. My line is so oddly drawn, I recognize. Let's talk about Obama Snow real quick. Cool design. It's neat. Just sucks that it's quad weeks of fire. But I actually do like Obama Snow quite a bit. But Snowver is so funny. He doesn't have a mouth. He's just eyes and he feels so expressive somehow. Right there. Very cool. I prefer Sneasel. Pretty high up on the friends list. Magnezone. Uh, I think he's cooler than Luxio. Just a fat gluttonous bastard. Not awesome. A fat bastard version of Rhydon. He's not going super high. Magmortar has a gun, and that's sick. He's holding the gun straight at Krogunk. The growth guy. I don't think I care about Tangrowth. That's weird. I think if Electrovire was introduced with Electrobuzz, I would like him a lot more. I definitely like him more than Electrobuzz. Gatekept by the Porygons. Real bastard Pokemon. Serene Grace. It's toxic. It's toxic, and I run it. I think that's where Togekiss goes. I think the same thing as like Electrovire. They would have hit harder if they were introduced with them. I think Leafeon's pretty mid. It just looks very naked, and I don't know how to explain it further than that. Okay, kept by uh, Nitto King. Glaceon, I think, is an incredible mon. I like Glaceon more than Espeon. I think all the Eons are pretty good, except Flareon. Gliscor, up there. Gliscor is pretty cool. Mamoswine. One of the weird guys introduced, like, Tangrowth, like, as soon as they learn ancient power, they can evolve. I like the weird evolutionary things, you know? Right there. Porygon Z. He has, like, the same energy as, like, Spamton from Deltarune. Does that make sense to anyone? Because it does to me. I like Gardevoir more. Maybe here? Not a fan. <laughs> Dusk Noir is awesome, though. This is another Mystery Dungeon mod, and I'm fresh off that. I'm gonna place him in my Mystery Dungeon tier. <laughs> Frostlass. Such an interesting design. It's nice. It's elegant. I really like Frostlass. I think that's where Frostlass stands. Rotom, though. Rotom is just such a, like, a jittery, spastic guy. I like him. Pretty high up there. None of the Lake Spirits, though, I really care about, but 
but as elf, he's funny because he explodes. And I like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put him up here. Palkia, a weird little penis man. I don't hate it. Badass looking. Again, coming fresh off Mystery Dungeon. They knew that Dialga was cooler. I'm gonna put Dialga in awesome. He's like a weird cringe potato that's on fire. I just don't like him. I think Reggie Gigas, pretty cool. Slow start sucks, but being able to like swap him off that or just surviving five turns is pretty cool. I think that's a fair awesome tier for him. Giratina, one of those Pokemon that like you're supposed to think is badass and cool. And they were correct. Peak Pokemon design. Cresselia, also a peak Pokemon design. I love Crescent Moons. I'm just gonna say Dark Rye real quick. Ah, uh, I'm such an edgy son of a bitch. Red, black, and white is such a goaded color palette. Manaphy and Fione, whatever. I would put them in Don't Care, but then I learned the quest in Legends Arceus to unlock them. They are suffering as a result. The little hedgehog is okay, but this form is so sick. Then it brings us to Arceus. How do you rank God? Like in any context. I think he's a cool design though. He's in the middle of a friend because I don't know where to rank God. It feels political. <laughs> oh my God, we're in Gen 5. I like Vikini a lot. He's a friend. I'll just snatch up Imbo real quick because I do not like this guy at all. And then Tepig's all right. Snivy is one of those Pokemon I liked a lot, but then I realized he has bedroom eyes and it's a little weird. Makes me a little uncomfortable, but not that uncomfortable. Mid evolution, I just don't like. I like Superior more than Snivy. It's a good little grass noodle. Oshawa, it's kind of like why I don't like Infernape because of Blaziken existence. Uh, Piplup. I know it's a Penguin versus an Otter, but their designs are just so similar. I think Oshawa is like very mid. I can put him under Politoed though. I can do that. And then Duwat. Let me ring Samurott first. I think he's kind of cool. He's just like something missing, you know? But I think one of the most underappreciated Pokemon is Duwat. Such a good mid evolution. It's like under Grovile as the best mid evolution. Base. He's a friend. I think this guy is just not awesome, but I think this guy is like just bad. Whoa, I forgot there's three evolution, which means I don't care about this one. And then Lillipop is a nice little dog. Sharon could be the gatekeep for that. Outland? I like Dratini more. I've ranked all your favorite monkeys pretty low, right? Do we all agree that these are war crimes? The tiny ones aren't awful. They're just bad. I'm looking at it. There are only a few Pokemon in Gen 5 I really like. Do you think it's actually time for a lightning round? We are going to speed run through all of Gen 5's Pokemon and where they should be ranked. A feat never done before by any other person. And this is his story. I thought it was gonna drop. I was a little early. This one's okay. Oh, they know fake out. That is all this Pokemon is for me. The cat's here. This is just a fetus and I don't care for it. Actually, this is worse. This is a fetus with an umbilical cord. This is just a pigeon. I feel nothing. This is still a pigeon. I feel nothing. Forms. This one's cooler. So I feel something, but it's still pretty low for me. A zebra. I like the cute one more. Actually, this one's pretty cool. It's going higher. So Gigalith, I like. He's so slow. So pathetically slow. He's rolling with the homies. Rog and Rolla, I like him. He's just a weird little hole. He's actually lower after I said that. I don't care about him. I like the big one. That's a fine place for him. I don't like tiny one with no eyes. It's not that bad though. He's so happy. He's so happy. Higher than Snorlax. Escadrill's sick. Up here. Audino, mid. Tadpole, bad. Gen 5's Pokemon are aggressively polar. It's so many bangers and so many this. I don't think he deserves rights. Actually, one right. They should be worthless, but they're not. I think they're dating. It's like Bert and Ernie. They're not that high. What is this? Like Levani? I think it's like weird. Good weird. I always like this Pokemon because it looks so unamused. Goliopede. I just see this and I think, ah, speed boost. That's good. Probably one of the coolest cocoon Pokemon, but still not anything insane. This guy is not awesome. Cottony though is okay. Stronger than Regirock. But whimsical to the top here. Favorite Pokemon from Gen 5. Easy. Lilligans. I will say that they're friends. Just another fish Pokemon above Carvana. Cute. The friend for sure. You have Puberty, which is always awkward and no one cares about. But you get Crocodile. He's badass. He's pretty good. I feel like I should like him more, but I can't. I like the little, little guy more. Maractus is also like in like that Carnivine tier where it's just like, how does he just exist in a vacuum? I like him more in Carnivine. Dwebble. That's a perfect place. The smash effect, but for Unite. Frustle stock is like through the roof right now. Here. Oh, I feel nothing. I still feel nothing. It just doesn't feel like Pokemon to me. Bad. Evolutionary process. The incarnate of Satan. A casket, but Egyptian. I think he's awesome. Turtle. I feel nothing for him. Caracosta. I feel something with him. Awful Pokemon with an awful ability. And I think that's kind of funny. There. He's just waving at you. He's a friend. Garbodor. Yeah. I do like Trubbish though. It really might just be that he's smaller trash. There. I think these Pokemon are pretty high on my list. Default. And then when you factor in the Hersuian forms, like there. I don't think it's like as cool, but you know. This is disgusting. They just tried to make Goth Gardevoir and they succeeded. And I'm going to place it pretty high as a result. What do you want from me? Gastrodon is kind of like the gatekeeper of all that's unholy. Just a tiny little mouse guy, but he's cute. I'm going to put him there. I like the design, but I've played against this Pokemon too much. Maybe I don't like it after all. I don't care about this, but then I do like Renucleus because then it's like, okay, there's a character to this now. I think he's awesome. I know I complain about Pokemon being just a mouse or just a rat or just an elephant. I guess I haven't just said that yet, but Duckling is just a duck. They're just waving. <laughs> 
this Pokemon's just a swan. I feel nothing for it. The ice cream line doesn't really do anything for me. Let me just pull out one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Probably like my favorite mythical. So far, I'm gonna put her fourth right now. Amunga. We'll skip ahead. I did not feel anything for this Pokemon previously. But now, the culture of the world has changed. And I'm gonna put him right above Infernape. I feel nothing. I'm kind of hopping around a little bit. I wanna say I hate Ferrothorn because of competitive. But he's so cool. But he's a bastard. He's so cool. But he's so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna do what feels right. I'm higher than Charmander. So many of these Pokemon in Gen 5, I just never felt anything for. They have some high highs, like Amolga. Friend. Amolga time. What is baby Amungus named? I don't really care about him either, but I'm willing to compromise the integrity of the tier list to surround Infernape with him. <laughs> Sunfisk, which one do I like more? I think I like this one more. Uh, I like blue Jellicent more. Also feel nothing. It's not awesome. I think he's really cool. I feel like he should be faster. Joltig, let's just... I'll put him next to Wooper. They'd be good friends. Garvantula, also a friend. Probably right there. Cling, 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 cling. I think this is a very redundant Pokemon. He's funny. Where's another funny Pokemon? Yeah, definitely above Tangrowth. I feel nothing. I don't care. Litwick, uh, he's just a candle, but he's an awesome candle. Another line where the mid evolution is mid. But Chandelure, base. I have a lot of ghosts and darks in my top. Maybe I'm edgier than I thought. Fracture, okay. This one, pretty good. Paxorus is cool. He's up there for sure. This is one of those Pokemon I just feel bad for. I just don't care for him. Same with Baratic. This is just a snowflake. This one disgusts me. A Selgor. That's, yeah, Selgor. A Sel I think he's cool. I think like a lot of my analysis is bad because I just go Pokemon name. Oh yeah, they're cool. Oh yeah, they're funny. Oh, they're a little guy. I do not have 905 different phrases. I'm going to put him in friends though. I like him a lot. Not, not awesome. Just forgettable. I always forget that Drudagon is like that. No Evos. He's just there. High awesome. I like the little guy more. Big man. He's lower on this list. Don't really care for the pre-Evo, but Volcarona is just pretty. He feels like a little guy who has something to prove, and that's why I respect him. They really went for a lot of spikes and blades for a lot of the designs, like Haxorus, and that's the only example I have. I think right there. Same thing as Toro. Feel nothing. A used to Raptor. I'd like to place him next to Raptor, but finding an individual Pokemon in this tier list sounds like an impossible feat. Rufflet is a friend. Keep more. I don't like. I'm gonna put him pretty low. Durant. Right there feels right. I saw a list that was like, who would make the best pet of all the baby dragon? And I think this guy would be awesome to have around. You know, he might tear down your whole house, but he's a friend though. I always want to call him Hydrogeton, but I think that's the Yu-Gi-Oh card, right? I think this is a pretty banger line. I think one, two, three heads is like kind of funny. Coverage from Verizon. This is probably my favorite of the three. Okay. This is like a cool design right here. This guy, I do not like him because I've run into justified beat up Terrakian too many times. I feel something towards him. And the answer is fear. Lander is T. I think I feel the most towards him. So I think I might be Stockholm syndrome myself by like putting him this high. Here. The other genies, I just feel mad. Reshiram, Zekrom. One of those things where the Pokemon just feel too identical. I just have to slap them together. I like Zekrom better. Factoring him, Kirim White, Kirim Black. He's pretty cool. But just his base Kirim form is just, it feels kind of toddler drawn. It could have hit a little harder. Keldia also is a smash factor for me. They're pretty high up on the friends list. Genesec is a really cool Pokemon. And it feels like one they just kind of forgot about. Like they shoehorned him into everything. And then when the world needed him most, he vanished. Friends. Place Genesec there. Let's just grab Sylveon real quick. I want to take Sylveon to the moon. Up there. And I want to talk about Esper. Someone pointed out that he kind of looks like Frazier, my dearest cat, to the moon. Right there. Greninja, a Pikachu. How many rights do you think Chespin deserves? I would say a moderate number of rights. I think he's the best in the Evo line. He deserves more rights. More than Delibird, less than Lillipup. My least favorite starter in Pokemon history. Doesn't deserve right. People aren't gonna like it when I rank the Coomer Pokemon low. Finnegan, probably a friend. I was shocked and terrified to find as much porn of this character as there was. I just thought it was a cute little fox, and I was wrong. I am trying to rank it without the knowledge of what I know. Hi, awesome. I think Fire Psychic is cool. Funny little stick above Low Punny to make a statement. Froakie is cute, but it definitely like brings out the cute aggression in me. Like I want to push him down a flight of stairs, but in a good way. And then we got Frogadier. I just don't feel anything. I feel nothing towards. Maybe Diggersby can be not awesome. A friend. Above Breakson, just to make a point. A stepping stone to get to Talonflame. The more I learned about like competitive, I feel like I use Talonflame Flame on all the teams I build. Town Flame is just a bird, but a bird fire. Scatterbug. I feel nothing towards. Same goes for Pavilion. But Spupa, hear me out. He got smash affected for me hard. I see him and I pop off. I should like him more, but I don't. Do you think the discussion changes if I say 1 billion Pyroars? Because of the propaganda he can easily spread, I'm gonna rank him at the top of pretty good. If it was just like a mythical one off Pokemon, I think I'd like it a little more. I'd rank it under the, the box legendaries for Gen 5. It's just a small little thing holding a flower, which is awesome. I don't wanna fuck 
the little plant. I don't think I feel anything towards it. I feel nothing. Go, go. Smash affected, definitely. You just get to ride him right above Leafeon. The epitome of little man and big guy. Pancham is spunky. He's got something to prove. I think they're pretty close for very different reasons. Pangora moves up a little bit. I don't feel anything. It is a cat. I think like cats are just ranked pretty high on my list. I think if I had to pick any Pokemon that like really grew on me over time, it's probably the Aegislash line. At the end of the day, like, yeah, it's a sword, but it's a ghost sword. And it's kind of badass. So let's talk about the swords. Uh, I feel nothing. <laughs> I can't relate to the sword, but for some reason, Aegislash, I can't. I don't know why him having like arms makes that giant difference to me. Probably right here. Slurpuff in his name of its own is bad. Say Slurpuff doesn't deserve rights. Gritzy, a, a more, a, a not awesome. He's cotton candy. I think they deserve one right as a treat. I find them interesting just because of how they evolve. You turn your 3DS upside down and then it evolves. I'm going to put it next to Poliwag because it's just like Poliwag evolves normally. I like any Pokemon with the contrary ability just because it's gimmicky. These are not Pokemon. Grelp is a funny name. I feel something towards the name. Dragalge. It looks like it was made in the Amazing Island character creator. I feel nothing. I think Mega Launcher is a cool ability. And when I see Mega Launcher, I think Clodzer. Helioptile. I see it's cute. And I feel like it fits the MO for a lot of other Pokemon I feel. And for some reason, I don't feel anything towards him. I do like Helios. I see him and I can smile, but I smile more when I see Seedot. I like Tarantrum. He's awesome. Ice type Pokemon are elegant. They're pretty. And I'm going to put Aurorus pretty high up and Amora. Actually, the eyes, they mess me up here. This was probably when I played Gen 6 the first time, the only Pokemon in the gen where I saw and I was like, holy shit, that guy's awesome. I have to have him on my team here. A lot of people want to see where I ranked a Dene. I've seen a lot of people say base, teak, design. A lot of people want an explanation for why, and I think it's funnier if I don't. Carbink, one better than Dedene. Gumi is a friend. I like Sligu a little less, still a friend. And Gudra above Trap Inch, they just put a keychain in Pokemon and slapped a face on it. Due to that boldness, I am going to rank it in the middle of awesome. I've never heard people talk about Trevenant. It feels like straight out of a horror story, not even like Pokemon. Low awesome for me, the little guy who has a funny wooden head. He is a friend. I don't really feel anything towards him. The pre-evolution is fine until you know that its name is Pumpkaboo. It just doesn't feel good in your mouth. I'm ranking him off exclusively his name. I like him. I think Bergmite falls under the category of tiny, so he gets ranked pretty high. I'm gonna move Squirtle up a little bit just so they can all hang out. Similar to Klefki, how bold it is. They just slapped a face on Block of Ice. Pretty high awesome. For some reason, they just never sat with me. I do like Noivern a little bit more. I feel a little bit more than nothing. I think Zygarde's just like a badass Pokemon, because power constructed Zygarde, it's like a power-up. He's like a second phase of a boss fight. That just feels so sick, and that's why I have to rank him a as a friend. Higher than you would probably play. I like a more chingling. Yeah. This guy, we're going to rank him pretty high. His lore is badass because if he dies, you die too. What do we think of Hoopa? I don't like this little bastard. Just doesn't deserve rights. DNC. De I don't think I really feel a lot towards DNC. Just a dumb pretty rock. There are Pokemon worse than pretty rocks, though. Gate kept by Machop. Volcanion? I'm gonna call him forgetful. I'll put them pretty high up on the I feel nothing list, because I think the typing is neat. That brings us to Gen 7. Is Rowlet shaped like a friend? Yes, I want to bully him, but it's Sidewise based. He's Pokemon. He's a tiny cat starter. I'm some supposed to like him. I feel like two pander. Torcat, you know, I don't really like the evolution where it's like evolve into like a slightly bigger version, but I think it's like noticeably bigger. A disgusting little pervert who shoots fire out of his cock zone. But I think Smash really made me appreciate Incineroar. I do think it's the weakest of the three. It's a little clown seal. It doesn't matter what it is. They're just a friend. I really don't like this evolution. You can be ugly and have rights. Yeah. Green Marina though, just this gorgeous little creature. How could I possibly rank her above Sandile? I just see them and my brain goes empty and my heart goes numb. Trump Pokemon. I think Young Goose gets a pass, but I think Gumshoe is definitely less than awesome. I don't even think this is cute aggression. I just want to step on it. Not awesome. And Charger Bug is superior. Fuck you and what you think a Pokemon should be. This is a brick you plug into the wall. I'm going to reward that. Hire the Dedene. And then Vikaful. Sad. I'm always shocked at how slow he is. I think I feel nothing towards Vikaful, but I think just how slow he is hurts me. I can't rank him higher than pretty good. I feel nothing towards. That's like overkill. Like we got it. Like for Brawler, perfect one off. He's a crap who brawls. And I'm like, I get it. Oricoro. Uh, I think it feels something towards him. Just feels like too much. It's cute. It's a bug. It's a fairy. We get it. But Rabombi is kind of like the same design, but less in your face. A dog, but he is a cute one. He's going to join the sitcom with Gibble and Aaron and friends. A bigger dog. Yeah, but I like him a lot. And then Wishy Washy. It is just a fish, but the funny part is that it's a lot of fish. And I'm going to rank that over Sniping. And now we're getting into the real bastards. This one gets a pass. It's a child. They don't know what they're doing is wrong, but 
Toxapec does. A war crime. Yeah. Not a big horse guy. Same with Dewpider and Aquan. I think he is cool, actually. You know what? He he breaks out. Fomantis, Lorantis. I don't really feel anything towards either of these, but I do respect the little guy's hustle. Morlol, he's not an awesome guy, but that is not his fault. He cannot change who he is, but Shenotic should. This is such a terrifying Pokemon. It's eerie. It just doesn't feel legal. I have to say that he doesn't deserve right. To land it relatively high. Kind of like Sandile, but worse, but still not awful. And now we're going to rank Salazzle, another one of those Pokemon. Um, it is a gas like Geeky Girl Boss Mon. It can hang out with the boys. Stuffle is cute, but I think it's like too cute. This guy gets Smash Factor. He's the best doubles teammate you can have. Certified friend. Bon Sweet. I think this is the one I like. I'm going to rank him next to Caterpie. The little one. Uh, I just don't really like looking at her. Not awesome. And it is her fault. People aren't going to like where I rank Thickerita. I don't think Serena's awesome. I don't like the sussy. The the, the leaf pussy. Any of I was going to put it next to Licky Licky, but I don't like what that's going to do to the chat. This is the cleft key of this gen. That feels right. It's unfortunately not a Kong. If that ever changes, I will go back on my list. But Simeon, I also don't feel anything towards. A new age Magikarp. I really want to reinforce that by putting him with Magikarp. He's meant to be the Gyarados, right? I wouldn't say he's peak, but I do think he's an incredible design. The Sandcastle doesn't do anything for me. Honestly, if they slapped arms, I think I would feel differently. But Pupiko, Pico Amigo, whatever. I love this guy. He has an awesome arm that comes out from who knows where. He is my dude. It's shitty Arceus, the epitome of I don't care tier. I don't know why I don't feel more towards Kamala. Wrong place, wrong time. He's not, I don't care. I see him and think that's cute. I gotta look this up. What does the front side of Turtonator look like? Terrifying. Oh my God. I wasn't a huge Turtonator fan, but after... After that, yeah, I don't think he deserves rights. Virgin to Dene versus Chad Togedemaru. How are they different? You either get it or you don't. Right there. This is kind of becoming a Pikachu, and I am a product of marketing working. Broxish is my least favorite Pokemon. It's disgusting. It has no chance of redemption, and it has teeth. I don't know why that's the line for me, but that makes it irredeemable. I always viewed it as Dragon Grandpa, and I like him more because of that. Dragon Grandpa above his children, Dialga. I don't think I feel anything. Jangmo, oh, is my favorite. The mid-evolution, I, I feel nothing towards. Actually, a negative amount of emotions towards. Dragon fighting, again, is cool, but I have to keep him humble. I don't think he's better than the barrel. Whew. These guys are a lot. Tapu Koko, this is also relevant lore-wise. You meet him pretty early on. He's gonna hang out with Drampa. They might not get along, but actually, I think I like Tapu Fini more. I think I had to let that sit for a total of 30 seconds. Top of awesome. I can see how other people like Tapu Lele. In fact, I would even encourage it. I understand it, but that's the limit. I think he's the only one I see and just feel nothing for. And now we got Cosmog. They really want you to refer to Nebby as a friend. So I'm going to retaliate just outside of that. Nebby plus nothing. I'm a sucker for Crescent Moons. High friend tier. He's awesome though. I like like Lunala more. Nihiligo. Lego. Yeah. I think Ultra Beast took time to grow on me, but they definitely did. There. Buzzswole. Easily my favorite Ultra Beast. If I put him above Heracross, that changes the balance of who my favorite bug Pokemon is. God, this is so hard. I think she's cool. I like her little cape shell thing. I think she's pretty good. Zurich Tree. He doesn't have a face, but he doesn't need one. Circuit Tree. Oh, Circuit Tree. Oh my God. You know what? That puts it down. It's a pun. You know what? I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to look past it. We all have our flaws. He can't control if he's named after a shitty joke. He's a Jackson Pollock Pokemon. I feel nothing towards this one. Such a cool design. Like, it's an origami Pokemon. Under Ferrothorn, above Charmander. Guzzlord. I've heard Guzzlord scream. <laughs> Yeah, right there. If it had like a little color splashed in somewhere, I think it would be way higher up on my list. Ultra Necrozma is really cool, but I can't say it's cooler than Kecleon. I think this is single-handedly my favorite competitive Mon. I actually prepared a presentation for this Pokemon. This is my Magearna team, and we're going to watch it. In this battle, I open with Geomancy, and then we're going to psych up, and now Togekiss has two times speed. People always target Xerneas because they think, oh, that's the sweeper, but it's actually Togekiss because then they switch into Magearna, who's already insane Pokemon and now has dummy stats. So Soul Heart buffs the special attack every single time a Pokemon dies. And I think it's really funny. And I think they're going to be in peak Pokemon as a result. I think we can all just agree. Marshad is a good design. Shake. I think right here. These designs do nothing for me. Stack Attacker. I don't really feel anything towards him, but if you do, I think that's base. So this guy's Fire Ghost. Zera Aura. They definitely wanted Electric Lucario. Furry Bait. That's how I see Zera Aura. I'm going to place him above Blastoise. The weirdest Pokemon ever. Why do they exist? Melton is a 
friend. Melmetal, though, I've always associated him with Big the Cat, like a stance sense. Gate kept by Manectric. And now we're in Gen 8, the starters. My favorite way to start wars. Not a huge fan of monkeys, but I like this guy. Is it that he has a funny little stick? Probably. Real recognize real. I feel like him and Chimchar would get along. You would probably do 25 for life for saying he's your favorite Pokemon. He can just have a couple rights. He is monkey, but he's like closer to Donkey Kong than the others. Right below Clay Doll. I love the score bunny line. Probably the weakest one. I'm gonna put him at like the bottom of awesome. Sasuke bunny. Pretty high up here. Hear me out. Like don't even think about like new gen bias or anything. Just close your eyes and think about a giant fire bunny playing soccer. I think Cinderace could be a Pikachu one day. Is he furry bait? I feel like he should be, but I, I am gonna put Cinderace pretty high up here. As time's gone on, I think he might be my least favorite starter from gen eight. Like here. Drizile. I don't think I like him actually. I'm gonna go so far to call him not awesome. If I see Inteleon in action, I might like him more because you know, he's like a James Bond sniper who shoots water out of his finger. I wish he was a little thicker. I could have used a better word. I like Machop more. Govit and Greedon. I have very good and recent reasons to place these Pokemon pretty low, but uh, I'm gonna look past that for now. He's just a squirrel. I like the just a cat more, but I do think Greedon is a fat bastard. I don't think I feel anything towards him. Just a bird, like all birds, but it's better than birds. It really might be that simple. Black and blue, it's a cool color palette. I think I'm just being pandered to, and I think that's why it's working. An edgy bird. I'm gonna say he's awesome. Bliplug. I think its eyes are charmingly terrifying, and I think you know what I mean by that. There. It's too close to Diddler in my eyes, so I think I have to rank it not awesome as a result of that. Or Beetle. Pretty high. I think it's pretty safe. I don't feel a lot for it because of that. It just feels like it's such a simple design we've seen several times before. I like Thiefel a little more. Really gives me like Flabebe vibes. I think it's just because it's a flower, and that is it. I think Eldegoss is too galaxy brain for me. It's like a Jimmy Neutron head-ass type Pokemon. I don't really care if they're cute. They do nothing for me. I was trying to think of something violent, and the first thing that came to my mind was curb stomping. I like Dreadnought. Yeah, there. Toodle ate glue as a kid. I think Toodle eats glue now. Yeah, it's just a corgi, but it's an electric corgi. Do you even consider that? Oplio, awesome. Another Manectric, but I like it for some reason. Roly Coley, I feel nothing. As soon as I learned the name, it moved down on my list. A minecart with coal in it. Bold. <laughs> I like Dunsparce more. Imagine if you just trash compactored Onyx really close and then set him on fire. I think he's funny. This is such a weird line in Pokemon, but I like it. I do think Appalin's the lowest because at the end of the day, it's an apple with eyes. That's still better than Chespin. The Batman of Pokemon. Mine. Pretty good. Appleton, yeah, I can make a case for him being like right here though. The first time I ever read it, I thought it said Silly Cobra. I think I naturally like him a little bit more, but I like him more than that. I think Sandaconda feels like an old design. You know, like I think he feels like a Gen 1, Gen 2. It's like Snake Tornado, but I'm like right under Nidoking. King. I just think he's such a derpy Pokemon. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. They're Barboach fish. They don't do anything for me. It's a cringe little baby Nene for me down here. He just screams and it deals electric damage. I like him. I'd love to see Kaon with Toxtricity right there. There. Sizzlipede. Funny. Yeah, like Kramer right more. But then with Cinescorch, I think it's like the wisps, wisps coming out of his face. Love Magnezone for a cab. This is like the smallest man. They're very similar. I think he's a sick design. Underscore bunny. It's just a cup of tea. But why do I like them so much? The authenticity of this Pokemon also makes it really funny. If you want to shiny hunt Sinistee, good luck right there. Whereas like Sinistee is just a teacup. Poltegeist is like more of a design. It's like more of a guy. Yeah. I see this Mon and I think it's okay. Hatrim though, Precious. One of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 8, if not the top. They did it again. They saw us having fun with our cute Pokemon. So we have to add curves to this weird bug alien. And I just liked her. So I even said, oh, it's kind of like a new Gardevoir. I didn't realize how right I was. I'm not saying she's a friend, but I'm saying she's close to it. These are little bastard mons. I don't really feel anything towards, but I like Grimmsnarl. It feels like a JoJo stand right there in Friends. Obstagoon, I just can't believe exists. I like Zigzagoon and I like Lanoon, but for some reason, Obstagoon does nothing for me. Berserker, though, does less. Put him next to Choodle so they can just continue screaming at each other for God knows how long. As an evolution, I think it's weird. I think they're pretty good. Sir Fetched. I can't believe they knighted him. Awesome. He just feels like somebody's grandpa. I don't like that. Hopefully, he'll go deaf in both ears. AU Kofferfrigus, whatever. Evolving this Pokemon, unlocking Sonic and Melee, just like the Manaphy quest. The utmost of bullshit, but it gets the job done. I think it's appropriate. I'm going to put him right next to Mamoswine. Someone once called it the oh, wow. cum Pokemon. That thought has never left my head. Very sorry. But I'll creamy. No one says that about them. And I like them quite a bit. I think that's a good spot for it. I think it's like little Kirby's with helmets on. Here. Another Pukamuko, Snom. We really got a group of them. Pinchurchin, a little bastard mon. He seems like the middle child. Right under Vicavolt. Snom, though, he is shaped like a friend, but I don't think he's shaped like my friend. Right next to like the god of death. But Frostmoth is pretty mid. This guy is just rocks. Bold. I think above Charmander sends enough of a message. Ice Q. Uh, I see him and I feel nothing. Maybe a little anger. Top.
top and not off. I think it's like a good mid Pokemon. If anyone said that Ndidi was their favorite, I'd be like, really? But if anyone said Golem was their favorite, I'd be like, oh, that's fair. I'm gonna rank Ndidi higher. This is just a hangry Pokemon. At the end of the day, it is a Pikachu. They get gatekept by Sand Slash. I don't really care about elephants. No offense to elephants. Now I wanna talk about the fossils of this gen. Bangers. I think if you don't like these fossils, you don't get it. And I will gaslight you into believing that. I think little head, giant body, funny. He's just a giant ice cube with a tiny face. I laugh, so I'm gonna rank him higher. Of all the fossils, this looks the most coherent. Under Reboot, let's talk about Mr. Fish. He is an abomination that I hold dearly. When I think competitive Pokemon and how I got into it, I think about this guy. And also, they recently made giant plushes of him. I want one but they're only in Japan. Dracovish being six is bold, but I'm willing to double down on it any day of the week. Duraludon, yeah, such a weird Pokemon. I always feel like there should be a pre-evolution, but they just have a Dragon Steel Skyscraper that's just, just here. I feel a little more than nothing. I'm just gonna say it, the mid-evolution, it does nothing for me. It's an awkward puberty Pokemon. Happens to the best lines even. Dreepy, shaped like a friend, right below Lotad. I don't know why Lotad's so high. Dragapult's super high up there. Here, and I think I'm gonna race Cinderace even higher. All right, so we got Zacian, Zamazenta, probably like one of the best mods to ever exist. Fairy Steel, and it comes out with plus one attack. And it's just an awesome little blue dog. They're a friend. I think Zamazenta looks a bit silly. I kind of feel bad for them, so I'm going to rank them a little high as out of sympathy. This design feels a little, I don't want to say soulless. It's hard to put a soul on this Pokemon. Yeah, this is a good place to put it. I like Kapu a lot. I'm going to put him here. Urshifu. Uh, have you guys ever used Protect against Urshifu and felt dumber than ever before? I think he's really good at doing that, so I have to give him props for it. <sighs> I learned that this was a Gen 8 Pokemon, like two days ago. I feel nothing towards them. And now we're going to talk about Calyrex. I have a lot of choice words about Calyrex. One, what the fuck? How does he get different forms by riding Pokemon? If you take Pikachu and Scotch shape him to Charizard, it's not a different Pokemon. I just don't get Calyrex and his other forms. Uh, doesn't deserve right. Let's talk about Regilecki, a competitive abomination. I think I like Diglett more. Like, it's just dragon skull around a weird orb. So I'll place him, like, relatively high, because at the end of the day, he does look pretty cool. But can I really say he's cooler than Combi? I think the ghost horse is probably my favorite horse Pokemon. It's edgy. I think I like Mischievous more. I think you're, like, a little ghost here. Last but not least, Glastrier. Slow as shit, but it's cool. And that's it. Just kidding. So the tier list I was using didn't have the Hisuian Pokemon. So hey, here you go. And then two weeks after I recorded this, guess what happened? Yeah! I really like the Weed Cat.